Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped, and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high-security vessel, you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. I'll relinquish one bullet. Where do you want it? Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kirill, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. I'm not surrendering my gun. Period. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to outprocessing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Cell Block 2. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin, and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space, and the galaxy is a safer place. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world at an unspecified place and time. So it's an extortion racket? You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. Let's get on with this. Have you had any escape attempts? We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Out processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. Is there something I can do for you? Whatever he did, he probably deserves worse. He certainly does. Hey, if you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's gotta be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the Warden. Yeah. 
Sucks to be Bimmy right now. They're going at it pretty hard. Did they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing though, the more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. So what are you in for? I killed a few people, only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, your clothes, your pride. I haven't taken a shower in three months. Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. I should go. Wish I could go. I hear the screaming in my head. It's nice, yeah. This is the Supermax wing. It's off limits. Out processing is back down the hall on your right. They'll bring your package there after the cryo thaw is finished. Out processing is through the door on the far side of the room. valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. You talked up your noble intentions with this prison, but it turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems! Let's go! We Got company! right now. Shepard is on the loose. Repeat, Shepard is loo loose. If we hack that control, every door on the cell block opens. It's the only way to get Jack out of there. I'm doing it. Be ready. That's Jack?
We have to get down there. Warning. Warning. Sounds like heavy fighting. Might be useful. All guards, restore order. Lethal force authorized. But don't kill Jack. Tex, lockdown, lockdown. Sectors 7, 9, and 11 have lost life support. No survivors. Fire! Wow. At least she'll be easy to track. Guard got swarmed by prisoners with improvised weapons. He never had a chance.
You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader and I don't have time for it. I do the hard things civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. <clears throat> he goes. Deploying tech overload. Trouble ahead. Going dark. Cerberus. What the hell do you want? I just saved your ass. He was already dead. He just didn't know it. Now, what the hell do you want? My name is Shepard and I'm here to get you off this ship. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. I'm offering to be your friend. You don't want to be my enemy. I take the offer, honey. Otherwise, things end badly for you. Fast. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? This ship is going down in flames. I've got the only way out. I'm offering to take you with me. And you're arguing. We could just knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. It might just come to that. You'll have to kill me. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Tell me what you're thinking. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give you full access. Shepard, you're not authorized to do that. Oh, it upsets the cheerleader. Even better. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On the ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way.
Commander, you... Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. You have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests deep personal issues. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. Just be careful when talking about personal matters. Don't worry, Jack's a big girl. She'll be just fine. I hope you're right. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm done talking. Come back later. What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. I should go. Yep. We've got a crazy woman squatting down in the subdeck. And she's a murderer. Has biotic powers that could crush you with a blink. Hates everyone in Cerberus. Well, ain't that peachy. Okay, Shepard, glad you're back, but keep an eye on that last one. We can only hold so much crazy. I assume everything's going well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. <laughs> it's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. That's it for now. See you, Commander.